Welcome back to another round of reviews. Just back from the store, and I just came across something I've been wanting to try for a long time. I've seen it on other review channels, and they look so good. I can't wait to try it. What are we checking out today? From the Netherlands, the classic Dutch Stroopwafel. Every reviewer I've seen try these rave about how great they are. So I can't wait to try it. Apparently, they're the world's like most underrated cookie. And I like cookies. So, hopefully I like them. Let's look at nutrition facts, bust these guys open, put it over a hot cup of tea, give it a nice taste, and see what I think. For one cookie, which is 33 grams, you're looking at 150 calories, 6 grams of fat, 25 grams of carbs, 8 grams of sugar, and 1 gram of protein. And here's what the waffle looks like. Nice waffle on top, and then we have a delicious looking caramel filling. I'm going to lay this one on a hot cup of tea, and let it steam to soften up, and I'll try another one without being steamed. Just to get both sides. Let's give it a few minutes. In the meantime, let's just try the regular one. So this one has not been softened or anything like that. It's looking pretty good. I got a feeling I'm going to like it both ways. Let's hope for a nice caramel taste along with a waffle. I'm thinking waffles and syrup, so I got a feeling that's what it's going to be like. Just a delicious little cookie. Let's give it a go. I was expecting crunchy. That's not crunchy. <laughs> but it's good. That was really unexpected. I was expecting like a crunchy wafer kind of feel. It's actually got a softer texture like a cookie. So it actually is a cookie. The package didn't lie. I thought it was a bit strange. But it's really good. I thought it was going to be a lot sweeter. But no, it's actually a nice blend of the caramel and the waffle. That is really good. I want another bite. I'm not sure if there's a caramel filling or it's actually just mixed in with the waffle. Either that or it's just seeped in through. Really good. Not overly sweet, which I like. But the texture, the texture is unique. I like that. Let's try the warm one. Now this one's actually feeling more like an actual waffle. A lot softer. And the smell is coming in a bit more. Definitely more of a waffle smell, but you're getting a sweet smell of caramel too. I'm excited to try this guys. Here we go. I enjoyed it just plain, so I got a feeling this is going to be awesome. Let's try it out. Oh my god. I can't believe just warming that over a steaming cup of tea changed it that much. Not sure if you can see it here, but I'm going to take a picture to post at the end. The caramel has become runny. It's delicious. Now this is good. What a great level of stickiness, like a syrup kind of waffle. This is awesome. The waffle itself becomes a lot less like a cookie and more like an actual waffle. And that caramel melts a little bit. Guys. If you have these available and you have not tried these, you definitely got to give them a go. I'm not surprised because everyone raves about how delicious they are. But the reviews don't give it justice until you actually try it. I'm glad I got to try it. Not as sweet as you'd actually think, but such a delicious blend of flavors. I guess where it's typically a breakfast sweet, it wouldn't be too sweet. So it kind of makes sense. What does Ron think of the Dutch snack Stroopwafels? He likes them. He's going to give these an 8.5 out of 10. These are delicious! There's no name brand on this one, but I found it at my Dominion store in the baked goods section. So across Canada, you might find them at your Loblaws, Zayers, Superstore, in the same section. This has been another quick round of reviews, and a look at the Dutch snack, Stroopwafel. See you guys next time! Strooperman!